This is interesting. The weekly and daily candle close for Bitcoin. You are going to want to stick around to see what this means for Bitcoin this week. Yes, guys, we can see Bitcoin pump to $20,000. You heard that correctly, guys. Or we can see Bitcoin dump to the yearly low of 15500 or even lower. You heard that correctly as well. This is DC Trading. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to find out when the bottom is for Bitcoin. So with that said, let's get right into it. So this week is very, very important for Bitcoin. This is a make or break. Now, <clears throat> just a few hours ago, the weekly candle closed for Bitcoin. Yes, guys, you guys can see the weekly candle close. It's looking bearish. But if we take a closer look, guys, at this right here, specifically right here with the arrow, this is a doji candle that formed last week. What does this tell us? Well, it can tell us one or two things. First off, it's telling us that there is no clear control. So meaning that the bulls or bears don't have control. This is setting up perfectly for Bitcoin this week. Stick around because on this specific date, we're going to see Bitcoin explode impulsively to the upside or downside. We're going to give the scenarios for each one, but yes. So the first thing, it can mean that, you know, the bulls and bears are weak right now, or it's clear manipulation because everyone knows what is next for Bitcoin on this specific date. If you don't know, guys, just stick around. Trust me. As I said previously, if we did not close above 17,000, that would be a warning for a Bitcoin dump, but it clearly closed above 17,100 as long as we keep above 7 or it's not 17,000, 16,700 around this area, we should be, you know, good, you know, for anything that might happen where we see a pump or dump. Let's just say it does close below or not close, but it does manage to dump to 16,700. Mm -hmm. Everything I'm about to say in the next couple minutes doesn't mean anything because and that means we will see a clear dump. But as long as it stays above 16,700, well, guys, we do have a chance to see Bitcoin pump to 20,000 this week. You heard that correctly. If we take a look at the RSI as well, it's around 34. So it's it has a lot of room to, you know, pump. This is a clear view and a clear path for you Bitcoin traders to make money on the move. As you guys can see, a volume is very low right now because it just opened. The new week just opened. But let's go on to the daily time frame to see what it tells us. Right now, it, the MACD is showing us a buy. RSI is around 46, so it does still have some room to pump. But in the next couple days, next 72 hours, I do expect a major move to occur. This is why we have 72 hours left. This is just a warning. I'm telling you guys, as long as we keep above this line, we should be perfectly fine for Bitcoin in the next couple days. So, volume is very low. The daily time frame is showing us that it is more bearish, but it's not convincing just because we're having these little movements of the candles you know price movements as you guys can see we are creating a falling wedge on the weekly and daily time frame which is bullish this is why i'm saying we might see a push in the short term remember this guys disclaimer i'm saying this is a short term bull run if we are to expect it 
This is not financial advice. Do not take my advice. I'm just pointing out the facts. Now going on to the you know four hour chart. It's clear right here. It's consolidating around the sixteen thousand seven hundred to seventeen thousand three hundred. It did manage to pump to seventeen thousand two hundred, but it clearly could not stay above. As you guys can see, the past couple hours we've seen Bitcoin price dump all the way down to sixteen thousand nine hundred. I mean, you should not be worried right now as long as it stays above sixteen thousand seven hundred. And clearly, guys, it's recovering, as you guys can see right now. So, with that said, what am I talking about this specific date for Bitcoin that we all must pay attention to? I'm telling you guys, this specific date can pump or dump the Bitcoin market as well as the crypto market. I'm talking about on December 14th, which is in three days. The feds are going to have a meeting. Jerome Powell will announce if or how high the interest hikes he will raise. Based off that news, we should see Bitcoin dump or pump. This is why I'm telling you guys we have 72 hours left. I'm making this urgent video for you guys. You guys need to be aware. This is why I'm making this video. But on that day, on the 14th of December, make sure you guys write it down on your calendar or on your phone to remind yourself because you can make money from just shorting or longing Bitcoin if you leverage trade. So if Jerome Powell says that or decides to raise interest and is hawkish. Well, guys, we should expect the Bitcoin market to dump. But if Jerome Powell says that Bitcoin or not Bitcoin, that the interest rates are not hawkish and he decides to raise them to 0.5 percent or 0.5 basis points. Well, guys. We should expect a pump to possibly 20,000 guys. You heard that correctly. We should expect a Bitcoin pump to this green area. And based off that, we can even see higher prices just because of all the hype that will you know, occur within those few hours. This is why you guys need to write down this area. If Jerome Powell decides, you know, to be, you know, to be less hawkish, raise it to 0.5 basis points. Well, guys, we should long all the way up to around 18 to 20,000 before seeing a dump in the later future. So this is why I'm warning you guys. I mean... We're setting up perfectly because on the weekly candle, we close using a or forming a doge candle. This is telling us that it's it doesn't have a clear path or a clear view of it, of what it wants to do. So, yes, December 14th is the specific date. Why are the next 72 hours important? Well, guys. We can easily make money off of this based off the news. This is a buy the rumor, sell the news. This is your opportunity to get in on trades. So let's just say, for example, he decides to raise it. Well, guys, we should expect a dump to 15500 maybe even lower because this will be harsh not only on the crypto market the stock market and the overall macroeconomics so we should expect lower prices this is why I, this is a warning i will make an updated video telling you when the bottom is for bitcoin how low will it go with that said make sure to hit the like button subscribe turn post notifications and i will see you guys in the next video peace